Hello and welcome to this video on the LA67 LR4 crossover module. Let's check out what's to come before we get into it. Now up front I'd like to thank LA67 for sponsoring this demo video. Now the LR4 crossover is a voltage controlled freeway crossover with 24 dB per octave filter slopes. It will break your input signal into low, mid and high bands. We've got control over the crossover for the mid and the high, the low and the mid, and we get CV control over those crossover points between the three bands. And quoting LA67, this is two four-pole state variable filters in series, allowing an input signal to be split into three non-overlapping bands, while the fourth order Linkwitz Riley slopes provide ideal band separation. And because both filters are full range, the bandwidths are arbitrary and non-range restricted. It's a highly creative module, allowing you to tear apart your sounds and repatch them around in a multi-band fashion around a system. Timing index is on screen if you'd like to skip around, but without further ado, let's dive in. So to start with, here's a really quick demo of how this works and how this sounds. Turning up my oscillator, here's my wave shape from the WFM. And we'll patch that through the LR4. So coming out of the low output, that low to mid crossover point will function like a low pass filter. and a nice sounding low pass filter at that. Now coming out of the mid output, we cut into those mid frequencies like a bandwidth varying bandpass filter, as that low to mid defines the lower cutoff point, the high pass in this kind of bandpass makeup. And the mid to high is like the low pass, it's shaving off those higher frequencies, providing again this bandwidth control, but from the higher frequency side. High output is then just the highs, and the knob acts like a high pass. Patching these around the system can be an incredibly creative and useful tool to have. So there's lots of patches doing exactly that. But first, let's hear this patching some of these frequency bands out in stereo. So here's a patch where I'm kind of tearing apart a single oscillator and its harmonics out into this stereo mix. Now this is backed up by some external drum sounds. Now I have a single oscillator coming in, its wave shape is currently being modulated, but we're going to pull this patch back and work back to the basic foundations of what this patch is. So single oscillator coming in, a modulated one as I said, then I'm taking the low, mid and high bands into individual VCAs with their own envelopes triggered by different divisions of a clock, and I'm panning those VCAs out in stereo to create this stereo space. Here's the low output. Now the crossovers are being modulated as well as that source oscillator. Again, I will remove these as we go. And then hard left and right, the mid and the high outputs. Now individually moving these bands, listen to the stereo image as I start to play around with these crossovers. And we can see that waveform coming through, it's a saw wave and the green trace on data is the low output, blue in the middle is mid and yellow up top is the high output.
Let's remove these VCAs and just get these straight into a mixer as a droning saw wave. And again, playing with these bands, listening to this stereo image with the low output mono and the high and the mid panned hard left and right. So it's a really interesting creative way of kind of tearing apart input sources, in this case then panning them out in stereo and using them rhythmically. So here's a random arpeggio playing into an oscillator, which is a super saw sound, coming into the LR4, and then sending the different bands out to different effects. So without moving the LR4, this is the high band, the mids feeding a reverb, and the low band through, completely dry. Now with them all turned on in my mixer, playing around with these crossover frequencies, creatively and frequency dependently feed these different effects. So here's a beat that we're going to kind of smash to pieces in some different effects modules. Here it is coming through the LR4, out into multiple effects. The bands have been modulated by some stepped random. And here's the signals that I've got coming in. The high band into some tight comb filter like delays and some reverb lows into some wave wrapping distortion and the mids and some nice crunchy overdrive as well so all together this beat is being pushed across these three bands bands are being modulated and those bands feed three different effects now if i remove the modulation and simply play with the crossover points, I can choose which frequencies from this input beat feed the different effects. So it's very performative, I can fade in and out of these different effects chains. So here I'm using the LR4 as a creative approach to creating standard synth filters, low pass and high pass, giving me a variable bandwidth. Now if I remove the two envelopes that you can see following the blue trace and blue cables and the yellow trace and yellow cables, this is simply a saw-like wave coming in. The oscillator is sequenced, a little bit of reverb after the LR4, and I can fine tune the top knob like a low pass, and leaving that wide open, the bottom knob like a high pass. And as they're great sounding filters, it's really nice to just use it like a standard filter on an oscillator. So using the blue trace envelope to control that top knob, the mid and high crossover, Very much just like a standard enveloped low pass filter. I'll then use the yellow trace to bring up the high pass, which is the lower knob, the low and mid crossover. And you can hear that's cutting into the low end on the steps where that yellow envelope is active. We could go the other way because we have a tenuverters for the modulation. So starting by cutting out more of these low frequencies from that mid band that we're coming out of, I could then invert this envelope to accent low end just on certain steps.
So here's a much simpler audio array example. The input is a simple square wave, and again, low out into mono in my mixer, and the mid and the high, hard left and right. I really love being able to hear this stereo image. It's really obvious what's happening then, certainly in headphones. So just moving these crossovers manually. And those 24 dB filters just sound lovely filtering the square wave. But let's add to that audio rate modulation and we'll just take a triangle from the WFM. So it is possible to find some nice simple audio rate overtones of these filter crossover points. Let's try then modulating that high and mid crossover with an LFO where we audio rate modulate the low and the mid crossover. Let's turn that square wave into something really nice and interesting. And I'll swap those over, LFO modulate low and mid and audio rate modulate high and mid. So here we're going to look at feedback, but feeding back only certain frequencies from a source sound. Our source here is the WFM oscillator to the left of the LR4, and I'm coming out of the low output into my mixer to record. So bringing in some of these lower frequencies. We can hear my input sound being filtered. Now I'm taking the mid output back to the modulation input to modulate the wave of the WFM. Depending on what harmonics and frequencies are coming through that midband, we get various audio rate feedback tones. And you could hear there's some instability sometimes, but it also does lock into some nice vocal tones and some different wave shapes. So because the crossover points are really wide ranging, I'm taking in a simple sample drum loop coming into the LR4 and taking the mid output. And we're going to kind of zone in and isolate parts of this drum loop. It's easy to isolate the low end. The snare. and those hi-hats. Of course, there's bleed through, it's just a single file, it's not like muting and solo in kick, snare and hi-hat in a project, but we can think of this like a standard synth filter on that mid output, where low pass and high pass creates a band, allowing us to move in, isolate parts of a patch or part of a sound, and then pass them on for further processing. So here the crossovers in the LR4 are giving me this multiband audio that I'm then creating a multiband compression environment with. My input beat is this sound. This is completely dry, a mix of several drums and some bass. That comes into the LR4 and then the low band is going through one compressor. It's really great being able to tailor with this low end coming into this compressor. The mid band. And then the highs. Bringing all that back together. It's been a really effective way to create any kind of multiband environment. Nice for this multiband compression. 
that's this video on the LR4. Do check out the video on the WFM. Come join my Patreon community with the link in the description. Hit like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.